Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my five star TBR wrap up and new predictions. This is a really successful round. So as I've been saying for a while, I still call it a five star TBR, but really anything four and above is a success for me because it's really hard to get a five star out of me. Um, those are like life changing, want to add a tattoo to the tattoo sleeve of favorite books books and they don't happen all the time. So yeah, four and above is really, but it doesn't have such a snappy, you know, five star TBR kind of rolling off the tongue. So anyway, this round went very well. I did very good with my predictions. First, the one that did hit five stars was Juniper and Thorn by Ava Reed. Five star Ava Reed is perfect for me. I will now read like, everything that they write. This I've done a review for. I've done a review for all of these, so I will link the reviews on the screen for more in-depth information, but this is an adult horror, like a gothic horror and settling, I still think about it, the imagery, just the theming, everything, perfect. Then The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri was a 4.5 star. The first in a epic fantasy series. This has nature magic, this has corrupting nature magic, this has a sapphic relationship, this has women sort of rising into positions of power. It's great. It's everything that I really wanted. The thing that held it back slightly from being a five star for me was it was a little bit slow at the start uh, for everything to kind of come together, but looking forward to the rest of the series, 4.5 stars. Then If We Were Villains by Emma Rio. This was a solid four to 4.5 stars. This is an adult dark academia story where there's something that happens in these, well, they're not teenagers, they're officially adults, but in these young adults' lives uh, at their senior year at a theater school that where they specialize in Shakespeare and Shakespearean tragedies and it's following all of the demise of that and, and the theming and the are people uh, changeable or are they their tropes and all this stuff. So I really enjoyed this. I see why it's very popular. Four out of five stars. We had Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. This is a sort of retelling, reimagining of Dracula told uh, through letters from his like first bride after he's been murdered and kind of leading up to everything. And it's about trauma and it's about abuse. And I should mention every single one of these books has like a ton of triggers, uh, but I mention everything at length in my reviews of them. This is also incredibly dark uh, and just, yeah, people overcoming their abuser basically is the theme of this. So another gothic horror, got really into the gothic horror over fall I would do this year. That was a four star as well, 4.5 to four. And lastly was The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik, which I read most recently. This is the second book in the Skolaman series, which is an adult fantasy series. And I predicted I would like this one because I really like Naomi Novik and this series I really like so far. So yep, four stars. Now for my predictions for the next round, I decided to put a bunch of chonkers on this list. So how soon is this gonna get done? I don't know because I haven't had a ton of time to read lately if you guys haven't noticed. Um, I'm reading, it's not like I'm not reading, just chonky, <laughs> they're all chonky. Um, but these were the ones that I most felt like on my TBR. I like really felt like these would be four and five stars, like for sure, mostly fives, honestly. So yeah, I had to go with these even though it might take me a while to get to them. <laughs> so my first prediction is The Adventures of Amina Al-Sharafi. This is by Shannon Chakraborty, wrote The City of Brass and the Devabad trilogy. I will be stunned if this is not a five star for me. This is the first in a new adult fantasy trilogy. This follows a pirate, famous, female pirate and has like sorcerers and pirates and magical artifacts and like all of it. Give me a good pirate story by an author that I love and I'm probably gonna be impressed. Next is one that I think will solidly be four stars. I'm not expecting it to be like life-changing to me by any means, but it is the final book in a trilogy that I have highly enjoyed for it being just popcorn to me. And that is Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. This is the final book in the Last Hours trilogy. Another one of the Shadowhunters books. This takes place in uh, Edwardian England. There's a bunch of like love triangles and miscommunication and everyone is pretty and just attention and angst, you know, and I think I'm gonna enjoy that highly. I do not care about any of the demon stuff in these books. It's just our people kissing. That's all I care about. And they will be. I know they will be. <laughs> next next is another really, really big book. They're all they're all big. A day of fall and night. <laughs> by Samantha Shannon. This is so large. Uh, as many of you know, this is the prequel to The Priory of the Orange Tree. I really like Priory. I'm sure I'll really like this. It's so big. Um, it, yeah, but putting it on my five-star TBR predictions will make me probably read it faster, maybe. Um, I, there's so many books came out at the beginning of the year that I really wanted to get to, and most of them are very large, this being one of them. So I'm pretty convinced that I will love this. More dragons, more women being awesome more interweaving storylines. I'm down. Next is a read that has been like 
almost eight years in the making at this point because I wanted to read another series before I read this one because it's in the overarching series. You may guess what it is. It's Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Live Ship Trader series, which takes place after the Farseer trilogy, which I did read and finish like three years ago, maybe more now. Uh, and I just hadn't got around to these because I didn't own them. Now I do. I own the whole trilogy. It's time to get to these. This is the book that I wanted to get to when starting Robin Hobb. This is more sort of pirate privateer stuff. I will be shocked if it's below a four. I'm convinced it's gonna be a five. Like, I'm gonna love it. And my last five star prediction is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. This is the first book in an adult fantasy duology. There is, you know, one daughter who's for the crown, one is for the wolf. These people, women get like sacrificed to the wolf, but I think the wolf is more like a man, sort of like the dragon in uh, Nomi Novik's Uprooted. So that aligns with my tastes. Also, there's a magical creepy forest, has some Slavic Eastern European folklore mythology. These are all things that you guys know I dig. This is also probably one of the shortest ones on this list. So she might get read the soonest, but mm, yeah, I should probably read this honestly in winter before it warms up at all up here, which I have in a couple months probably with Chicago. But this is also one, I mean, all of these, all of these I think will be five besides Chain of Thorns, which I think will sit at a solid four. But all of these other ones I'm really saying is gonna be a five. But if it's a four or above, I still succeed in my guesses. So yeah, that is my next lineup for my five-star TBR predictions. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of some of these books or if you do anything like this and if your predictions have been correct for yourself. If you thought that my last round of predictions, uh, if you thought I was gonna like things more or less or whatever, comment down below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.